10. New tonight, a man is now facing charges accused of inappropriately exposing himself on multiple occasions. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Trisha Mackey. Rob has the night off. Chancellor Wynn is live in Norwood after speaking with one of the victims in a story that you will only see right here on Fox 19 now. Chance. Yeah, Trisha, we are live in front of the Norwood Police Department because officers inside of this building have been working on this case for months. And on New Year's Eve, the man accused of exposing himself on a multiple different locations and times was actually arrested and taken into a custody. Now, according to those arrest reports, one of these incidents happened at a gas station here in Norwood. Now, tonight I spoke with the victim and she tells me that that night when she was pulling in to get gas, she had a very uneasy feeling. I had like the weirdest gut feeling that something bad was going to happen and then it did. This woman did not want to go on camera, but she says a man exposed himself to her while she was getting gas on Williams Avenue in Norwood back in August. According to court documents, that man is 35 year old Nicholas Derbyshire and he's now in custody months after the incident. I saw the guy walking towards me um, and then I noticed that he like had exposed him like he like had already exposed himself as he was like walking towards me. At that point, she tells me she jumped in her car and drove off. I was living by myself at the time, so it was really scary for me, like thinking I was like, and I didn't know where he went at the moment. So I was like, he could have followed my car, like anything. So she called Norwood police because she believed that this may not have been the only time Derbyshire allegedly exposed himself to someone. Well, her intuition proved to be right again. According to Norwood Police's arrest reports for Derbyshire, he's also accused of exposing himself outside of Club Pilates in Norwood a few months earlier on April 19th. You don't just do that one time. I feel like if you're doing something like that, especially if you think you can get away with it or you have in the past. Derbyshire is now facing a charge of public indecency, but the woman tells me that doesn't help ease her anxiety. For a while, like leaving my house at night was very scary. Doing anything by myself was scary, like even during the day, because it's just so fresh in my mind. It's like you replay it happening to you over and over. She says she keeps thinking about that weird feeling she had as she pulled into the Speedway gas station. And now she's telling others to pay attention to those instincts. Listen to your gut feelings when you have a bad feeling, even if I feel like a lot of times I will or like people I know that are women will tell themselves to not be so paranoid or that it's nothing and they're fine and they're safe. And I feel like at times they think they're just calming their anxiety, but really that could be a warning to keep you out of a dangerous situation. Now, she is also encouraging people to protect themselves with simple items that you can carry under keychain like pepper spray. And as for Derbyshire, he is scheduled to appear back in court on January 31st. But for now, reporting live in Norwood, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Chance, thanks. New